Babe, you can't taste no banana. Yes, babe. Stop fighting. Hi all, welcome back to my channel. My name is Aisha Mandy. So if you are new, if you aren't, welcome back. I know I said that fast, but I'm trying to beat the traffic. Today I'm going to go to Human Rose for the 5th anniversary of Barbados. And starting with the first one in St. George. So let's go! Little walk, walk, walk. Right, a lot is happening at this point. We have the new sports. Somebody always blowing for this man. The new sports. Help me with the word, babe. Huh? Pavilion. Pavilion, right. At Gold Phillips. Well, I didn't know that. It's called Gold Phillips. It's called. And now to the mural. It's me here in voice form only. I wanted to take this time to share my thoughts on the murals. When I went and visited them, I took it in as it was present. So now I can review and share those thoughts. I really like this mural. It captured the essence of St. George. And this is me not being biased because I live in St. George. It really, really did. And by extension, it captured Barbados, the elements of Barbados. And the details were used in a fresh bit so you see the pride of Barbados here on the mother Sally and tie teaming with the Kaduma outfit so you have that then and no traditional modern stuff um, it also has exact location I ain't too sure where the sea turtles come in St. George being privileged that's our way but you know that is one of the things they're known for now in our waters this the lane was looking more like a seal you see it there but you had to have the lane at, and at Gun Hill and obviously Gun Hill. And lastly, I really enjoyed seeing Beer Fest being displayed in this way because people will just see it as just another party, but this is part of younger people's culture. So Kiki Marshall, we got your style. <laughs> Try to film the mural by Bon Hall, but there are still set up there, so it won't be a clean shot. So I opted not to. So we're gonna head to Six Rose after taking a shot from Babe out near Miami site. Yeah. Y'all seen this like for real? Like, woo! All right, this is a definite eye catcher. The colors were so vibrant, it was so beautifully done and thought out. Again, capturing all the elements. It has a then no future aspect to it. Really, really love it. I love the traditional Beijing bus in to know what we have, the electric buses. You have all these elements showcasing how Barbados has transformed. I think most murals have some element of that, but this one really captured it in a very fresh way really like that like it was amazing you should really go see all of them and this one especially it has a vibe you cannot miss this in six rows this is a little berry delicious mm -hmm. <laughs> you can like oh that is I got this that's what it says. It's watering. No, but that's how you talk. I mean, you want a little thing. That is mango tango. Yeah, this is good. I think a combination of mango and pineapple is always tastes good. It looked good. Can you taste it? Yeah, it's good. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Baby, you can't taste no banana. Yes, babe. Stop fighting. 
Det kan ikke nogen Already putting some word at the round boat. St. Lucie, I come from. Now, this one was my least favorite, and I want to tell you why. It's not that it wasn't done well, the concept of it. I, well, coming on to the end, I really didn't want to see because it has the elements of COVID and all the struggles and whatnot, so it's very realistic capturing of what is happening present day which is what art is supposed to do but i really really didn't want to see that negative i just wanted to have a getaway a mental getaway and go back in time with history but history is not always positive is it so that is why i didn't really particularly like this one but again it did what it was supposed to do captured all of st lucy well, the main parts of it, parts from back then, parts from now. So, you have definitely Mr. Errol Watson Barrow, you have the solar farm, you have the cutting of the canes, which is not specific to St. Lucy, but yeah, you have the fisheries, all of that kind of stuff is in this mural on the church, and I think it is very well placed in that. This is a landmark within St. Lucy, so. Here is the COVID element. Ugh. I really don't want to see that. I just wanted to go somewhere happily and experience Barbados visually, but in a more positive light. So yeah, but it was really well done and it speaks of the times and captures this in one place. So if you pass St. Lucy Parish Church, again, you can't miss it. This is by William Austin looking, right? Yes, William Austin very well done just not my favorite so we just left St. Lucy Parish Church on our way now to Spikestone not that it was a competition or anything but this mural was so beautiful and definitely a favorite on the day again capturing all of Barbados and the fields and how we live off of what we grow the fisheries the fields and not just men in the fields we're showing the women in the fields and the difference was that the man was the one walking his son on the bridge it says the loyal sons and daughters all it was so beautiful to see and experience so again if you have the chance just take a moment to soak it all in can't see the artist's names at this point but it was beautiful